a lot of people clown me a lot of people clowned me for my last how to be sneaky with strict parents because they were like oh everybody already knows all of this shit like bitch tell us something we don't know so this video is an advanced version for all my bad influences out there you was at the club bottoms up when i'm going to start with smoking tips first now it only makes sense to do this part high so I always recommend carts or edibles if you do want to get high at home. But if you are going to smoke, never, I repeat, never smoke a blunt or a joint. If you want to get caught, do it. Only use exhibit A, exhibit B, a bong or a pipe. That way that the smoke is only going into your mouth and out of it instead of like a blunt that is going to be letting the smell just smell away, bitch. It's gonna smell. If you're going to smoke at your house and you wanna smoke a blunt or whatever, I recommend smoking in the garage. It is the next best thing to outdoors and it is the next best thing to being inside. It's self-explanatory. The garage won't smell unless you have fucking carpet in your garage. Now for the smell blunt spray, if you don't know what blunt spray is, pop a pick right here. Shit works fucking wonders, okay? It is really strong air freshener, basically. Incense, if you don't know what those are, pop it up right here. Again, burn it while you smoke. It'll mask the smell. Not completely, but it'll help mask the smell. Candles with more than one wick, okay? A candle with more than one wick or multiple one wick candles i don't know how to pronounce it but i just pronounce it osium this is specifically made to get rid of the smell of smoke you can order it off of amazon smoke x pop it up right here this is basically a hot box of air freshener it'll hot box your car with air freshener of course open the windows sploof smoke buddies pop it up right here you will need to make a sploof is laundry sheets toilet paper roll or a water bottle an elastic band or tape okay what you're going to do is just stuff it stuff it to the fucking rim with laundry sheets and blow through it every time you smoke okay it's pretty self-explanatory now where to stash your stash okay so first place is i threw away mine because i don't have to hide my weed anymore but um deodorant stick now all you're going to do is use the already used one or if you don't give a fuck about your deodorant all you're gonna do is pop it out and there is space in here to stash it put this back in and it won't smell at all next place is any shoe boxes and you can put it in a sleeve or a pocket sunglass container is also also inside the shoe classic a place to hide it if you are driving in the car i'm pretty sure everyone knows this but it's in the gas in the gas cap pop it in there close it if you have tape take advantage of the fucking tape you can tape it under your desk under your fucking dresser under your bed this is a good ass tip for if you have to hide a big amount of weed for a long time chip bags okay <laughs> open a chip bag eat the fucking chips up okay stash your fucking weed in there you're gonna seal the bag with a hair straightener okay so you can just cut that bitch open for whenever you want to fucking get your weed okay so i also gotta help out my people who are fucking struggling with the drug test serto is your best fucking friend okay i repeat serto is your best fucking friend you can find these at your local public Whole Foods, Walmart, food places, okay? Also, if you always have weed in your room or your mom distinctly knows the smell of carts or weed or you've been caught multiple times, we've all been there, but I um, recommend odor eliminators like this or this. Okay, next thing is some sneaking out tips. So these are for my people with sensors. Why I say it like that though? Um, you can buy magnets and you can put a magnet on your sensor and you'll be straight. There's multiple videos and tutorials of how to do it on TikTok, YouTube, you name it, you got it, okay? 
I forgot to add that for location, you can go to your settings, go to location, and turn off your cellular data for Find My Friends or Life360, and it won't send an alarm, and you will be able to have fun. Remember, have fun, but be fucking safe for real.